I have come briefly to speak to you. Greetings, and whom are we speaking with? My name is Raul. Greetings, Raul. Thank you. I want to acknowledge that your people are starting to change, that the thought processes here on this world will give way to new life in the future. But many things must happen before then. And I am an elder from my planet, and I speak to one of your own here, and I will tell you that the missions of your peoples will continue. Rise up. There are many planets, many species that will want to help you, but cannot. They can only pray for you and only send you their energy because they cannot interfere with the way that you do things. So help yourselves. Your governments are in conflict, even with themselves. So be unified, each and every one of you, with what is right and what is good. It does not matter what political view that you may have, because it doesn't matter. What will happen will be for the betterment of humanity, no matter if it is who you've chosen or who you've not chosen as a leader. These things will happen no matter what. Are there any questions in the room, please? I've only come to just state that there are many ships coming this direction, and I pray that you will be able to see them. Thank you. Uh, is, do you have time for one question, please? Is there a question? There's two questions, actually. Um, but we'll go first with Dawn and then with David. Thank you. Dawn. Greetings, Raoun. This is Dawn. Greetings, Dawn. I Dawn is the human I speak to on occasion. Thank you. I'm very happy that everything went well at Sagaya. May Sagaya I is great in five. Thank you. And her restoration is proceeding? Yes. There is much restoration happening at this time. Thank you. I will pass the questions on to someone else if they wish to ask a question now. Thank you. Thank you. David, go ahead. Hello. Greetings. I uh, just wanted to reach out just in case you might have had the ability to help me. I've been in pain for 24 hours from a tooth and just wanted to see if there was something that you could do to help with the pain or if you knew someone that had expertise that could help with this situation it's haven't had any sleep I see let me let me speak to you in the way that you might understand there are some reasons sometimes for pain and there are reasons why people remove pain I can help you to remove this pain what meaning would it have for you Hmm. What lesson would it teach you to have the pain removed? Uh, to take care, take better care of, of myself. Is that a lesson that you have not learned over the years? Mm, it's been quite rough for the quite few years, so it's, it's been uh, up and down and challenging. Now, when you have this kind of pain, who do you call on? For this one, there's Dennis, but it's the weekend and I reached out and it's difficult right now. 
What about your spiritual leaders? God, Jesus. Do you call on them for help? I did. Yes. And do you believe that they can help you? No. I want to believe. I, I believe see. to some degree. I don't not, not believe. I see. Because I see that there is some doubt because you asked more than one person. Mm. Yes. Remember this. Your faith must be strong. Your, for your mission, God does not want you to feel pain, and God does not want you to be in any kind of distress. So therefore, call on him to help you with this. If you call on others, they may be able to relieve the pain temporarily, but he wants you to learn to call on him. You seem to have many different pains and problems, but you do not always call on the right people for these, the right actions. So he wants you to learn to call on him so that he may work with you personally. Mm, beautiful. Thank you. You are welcome. And your pain will get less, if you believe it will. Use your belief system in a positive way. Okay. And you will also rest. I did this with this young gentleman to teach all of you that you have a God, and a healer. It is not always the aliens that are those that are to heal you, but you must stand up and ask your God to help you as well. I have only come to reinforce that the energies today are of a great power and a great beauty. I see them lifting many people up today. It is like a great fire was started with these energies. Let them burn within you. Many have been suffering in the past, but let this flame burn today and waken something new. Thank you. Thank you very much. There is a question uh, in the chat from uh, Victor. He's in Peru and he is asking uh, if he's fifth density. On third density, you only can be truly third density, but you reach into higher densities as you, as you are aware of the other dimensions. You were born into third density, but you may reach into higher densities and become higher densities once you arrive. But when you come back to Earth, you are back to third density. Now, let me explain something else. There are those of you that are trying to move into the next density from this one. That will be granted as you move and your missions are no longer viable or if they are completely finished. You may not move to the next dimension in the middle of a mission. You may not move to the next dimension when you're working on your third dimensional ideas and formal missions. So, if you are trying to do so, your mission must be complete. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very well. Much love to you all. Much love and thank you for coming. And there is another to come. Great. Thank you.